world and welcome back to my channel. I have a really exciting video planned for today and it's inspired by my roommate because I was doing some online shopping this weekend and my roommate and I were talking about which stores were the best to buy online from and that's when I got the idea to talk about online shopping especially in Canada. So if you don't know, shopping in Canada is a lot harder than it is in the States especially online. A lot of times the good brands or the good stores are only in US dollars they don't ship to Canada for free, or there's no stores in Canada and you can't try things on. So sometimes you're stuck buying online or from the States and paying shipping. So this video is dedicated to my Canadians, but these tips are applicable for anyone in any country. And also like who wants to go to the mall? Just I would rather buy something online and then just return it if I don't like it. I don't want to go to the mall with all the people and wait in line and change all my clothes there. It's just a hassle, it's much easier to just do it at home. So I am a big fan of online shopping. We're gonna talk about how you can save money, how you can make money online, and which stores are the best for online shipping and returns. There is so much that you can do online that I've learned over the years, and ways that you can get the products that you want for the prices that you want. So if you wanna learn more about saving money, making money, and which stores have easy shipping and returns, then you need to watch this video. Number one, saving money. So this one isn't really online, but this is just something that I use to save money every single time I go to the grocery store. So I use an app called Flip. So Flip is an app for your phone and you can load all of the grocery stores in your area's flyers. And then you can go through those flyers and see which store has the best deal. This really works for me because I go to a grocery store that always has price match. I love this app and honestly it doesn't take that long to go through the flyers. You go to the checkout and you just go through your list and it's super quick. I know some people are embarrassed to do this, but honestly, at the checkout, the people have seen everything. When I was working at Walmart, people would bring in hundreds of coupons and then the entire conveyor belt would be full of like cat food or something random. And if you're a coupon person, that's cool. But it just goes to show that these cashiers have seen everything and if you're just price matching, it's fine. It's nothing to be embarrassed about. On average, I think I probably save around like $20 per shopping trip just by doing price match. So it's worth it. Okay, number two, how to make money. And this is for online. I learned this tip from another YouTuber called Lester Lux, and her real name is Katie, but she had a video about how she makes money online, and she talks about Ebates. So if you haven't heard about Ebates, it's like an online website that links you to many, many different stores, and through them, you get a certain percent of your purchase as a cash back. So apparently when you buy things online, there's some sort of commission that is paid out and Ebates gets a piece of that commission because they're technically a site that refers you to other websites. So what they do is they share a piece of that commission with you. So for example, if I wanted to go to Sephora, I would go to Ebates, click on the Sephora link, and then that's just a regular Sephora page. But when I make a purchase, I get like four to 8% cash back depending on what their special of the week is or whatnot. So I'll be buying stuff that I was gonna buy anyways from Sephora and just get 8% cash back, like that's crazy. There's a Canadian and an American Ebate and they both have different offers. Obviously if you're in Canada, the ebates.ca website is perfect because all the stores there are Canadian, but some of the stores on the ebates.com website don't apply to the Canadian stores or the websites are only in US dollars and sometimes they only ship to the States. So you have to be careful on what you use on ebates.com. You'll get cash back in American dollars from ebates.com and Canadian dollars from ebates.ca. I've been using this for about two years and I've made around like 150, maybe $200 in cash back. So it's a really, really good website. And I always refer my friends because it's such an easy way to make money on a purchase you were already gonna make anyways. If you wanna check that out, I'm gonna put the link in the description box so you can see what stores are there and if you would like to sign up. Number three, shopping online. There's a lot of stores in Canada that do offer free shipping after you purchase a certain amount. And this is a really great way of just getting everything that you need at home, delivered to your house, you don't have to go to the store. I prefer it so much better. There's a lot of stores that have good shipping and returning policies. And if you wanna see more videos like that, then just let me know in the comments and I will definitely make another video for that. So the first category I'm gonna talk about is cosmetics and beauty products. So you probably know that Sephora has an amazing shipping and returning policy. Sephora is super awesome because shipping is free over $50 and to be honest, everything there is so expensive, it'll probably be $50 anyways. Plus you get the free samples and it's eligible for Ebates. 
so you basically win on every account. And returns are also super easy. You can just send it back in the mail for free or you can return it in store. It's really easy. The second one is Shoppers Drug Mart. Shoppers Drug Mart is pretty much everywhere here. It's one of our main drug stores and has like health, beauty, pharmacy, and all that stuff. So the beauty boutique at Shoppers Drug Mart has free shipping over $50. And sometimes they have promotions where you'll get free shipping on everything. So that's awesome. So there's free returns in store. And if you're going to return it by mail, it's an $8 flat rate for like a restocking fee. So I would just go in store and return it. Okay, so there's a million other health and beauty stores that you can buy products from that also have good shipping and returning policies. So if you want to see more videos about that, then let me know. The next category is clothes. Clothing is often my worst nightmare trying on in store because in the winter you have a jacket, and you have pants, and you have to take your boots off and your socks fall off. So I don't like to try things on in store anymore and I would much rather just get it shipped to my house. There's a couple of stores that have really good shipping and returning policies and these are some of the stores that I use more often but there's so many more stores that I could list. So first of all, The Bay, which is a department store, has so many different brands. I really love shopping at The Bay because they have really good shoes, they have nice clothes and they even have cosmetics. They give you free shipping when it's $99 and above, free returns in store and by the mail. The second store, which is where I just bought some stuff off from this weekend, is Dynamite. Dynamite has really nice professional looking clothing and also just stuff that you would want to wear for a night out. I think their stuff is so cute, but I usually only buy things when they're on clearance because that store can be kind of pricey. So when you're buying from Dynamite, they have free shipping over $40 and free returns in stores. You do have to pay for shipping if you need to return the product, so I would just go in store. So definitely Dynamite, put that on your list. Dynamite's clearance section is bomb. And if you wait long enough, most good things end up in the clearance or the sale section. So I would definitely check that out. Next, I want to talk about American Eagle. American Eagle gives you free shipping over $50 US. So the website will do a conversion or whatever it does when it goes to Canadian dollars. And then it'll let you know if your purchase is covered. And it's free returns in store, but you do have to pay if you're going to send it by mail. The last store, which is kind of like the Bay, but has a wider selection, is Simon's. Simon's is amazing in Canada. I personally haven't bought anything from Simon's, but I might consider it because they have free shipping and free returns, like completely, no minimum. And they have so many brands. I've been to Simon's in a mall one time and they literally have everything. They have like affordable brands and then they have things that are expensive as like $2,000 for a suit jacket. Like it's crazy the amount of stuff that they have and free shipping and free returns, can't go wrong. The next category is shoes. I know that shoes are really hard to buy online because every single pair of shoes fits differently. That's why it's so good to go to a store that has a good return policy because then you can just buy the shoes in two sizes and see what fits better and then return the other one. Like I said before, you can buy shoes from the Bay and that's usually where I get my shoes, but you can also go to Aldo or Spring. Aldo also has a really good shipping and returning policy. They give free shipping over $70 and free returns in stores. You do have to pay if you're gonna send it back by mail. I love shopping at Aldo because they have the cutest accessories and they have nice shoes too. I wouldn't say that they're the best quality in the world, and like if you wear them in the rain, the water will probably go through. But they're still really, really cute, especially for like a night out. Spring also has really nice shoes. And they do free shipping over $60 and the same thing, free returns in store, but you have to pay by mail. And again, the quality is not amazing, but they have really nice accessories and the shoes are super cute. The last shoe store that I like is Steve Madden and they do free shipping over $75 and free returns in store. But if you're going to ship it back by mail, there's like a $6.95 restocking fee. So I would just try and return it in store. That's a little tricky if you don't have a Steve Madden store in town. So I wouldn't purchase from there unless you do have a store or you know what size you are. I usually can't fit into the knee high boots because my calves are just like, I don't know, way too big. But they have really cute booties like these ones and I love these shoes. Okay, so the last category is miscellaneous. This is kind of stuff from like different categories. The first one I want to talk about is Walmart. Walmart is such a good place to buy stuff from because the minimum is only $25 and you can ship it to your home, to the store, or to the post office. So I like to send it to the post office because then I don't have to be home and I know that the package is safe and I can just pick it up whenever it's ready. They also do free returns in store or by mail, so it's really, really easy to return things. I also like to use Chapters or Indigo. They have really nice accessories and home decor, as well as obviously books and stationery and things like that. And like Walmart, their minimum is only $25 and returns are super easy because it's free in store or by mail. 
One of my favorite like mega stores, I don't know what you call them, like a online version of a department store is Amazon. So amazon.ca is really good because you can get a lot of things shipped for free, especially if they come from the Amazon store. I personally have Amazon Prime, so I get free shipping with that. But if you don't have Amazon Prime, if you spend a certain amount and it's from the Amazon store, you still get free shipping. For returns, it can be a little more tricky. You have to look at each individual post and it'll tell you on the side like free returns if it's eligible. So all returns from the Amazon actual store are free. And then the other ones, it depends on the seller. So that concludes part one of this video. There's so many more stores that I could talk about today, but I didn't want this video to be like 30 minutes long because, you know, people got stuff to do. These are the ones that I thought had really good shipping and returning policies, and I use most of these websites every time I shop, basically. If you love online shopping and the store that you like to shop at has really good shipping and returning policies, link it down below because I will definitely need to check that out. To my Canadians, I hope this helps you with your shopping experience, and I hope that it's useful for other people in other countries as well. Side note, you can use Ebates on pretty much every single store that I mentioned in this video, so if you want to make some free money, definitely check out Ebates. If you found this video helpful, like it and subscribe to my channel and let me know if you want to see more videos like this. I'll see you next time. Bye! Don't spend all your money in one place. I we're talking about the ble- the bless- oh my god! And just get things better. Get things better.